and hello everyone, welcome back to another day in the life of me, James the Douglas, as I, oh, I still never fix this, as I attempt to build a Minecraft world here, this is single player Minecraft in 1.7.2 because of a stupid glitch in 1.8 which spoils the game for me, and right now we're just going to go and complete the squid farm. Now, I have... I was caving like crazy for the last couple of days trying to get as much iron as I could and I think I've got enough now to finish the uh, the farm so let's give it a go. Let's see if we can do that. It's quite a weird farm actually because, well just the way the hoppers work, but I mean they do the job which I guess is what they're there for no matter how weird they are placed, no matter how weird the pattern is. Oh no! That's one thing I hate about hoppers is like if you accidentally place something on top of them you can't get it back, you have to go to the end of the line and get it there so let us get rid of this. Yeah I didn't get it. I think there's a chance that you can get it. Oh no! <laughs> Not again! Okay, I'll get that one at the end. So, yeah, this is this is going to be a good good thing once it's a it's finished. Uh, I think there's already a stack in it, uh, roughly. I mean, it's not going to be the best, most efficient farm, but we don't need it to be efficient. We just need, you know, it's not like we need ink sack every day of the week. It's just. You know, once once in a while is nice. You know, if we need to dye something, maybe if we make fireworks ever or something like that, you know, it's nice to have. Although I'm not sure who likes black fireworks, but... <laughs> and black fireworks might not be the best thing to show off at night, but hey. Maybe the daytime. Maybe they're the only fireworks that are good in the daytime. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's just finish off this padding here. There we go. I think it's pretty much finished. No mobs will spawn in here, which is good. We can go into here and get our uh, all this stuff back. And yeah, that is good. Now for the um, ladder bit here, I was thinking of doing uh, a little bit of a pattern, um, similar to what we did by the creeper, uh, the creeper statue, which actually scares me. By the way, I was once out at night running away from creepers and I saw the statue and I was like oh no not another creeper and sure enough the creeper came into view but it was fine because it is stationary and will always be stationary unless of course they implement a feature which means statues come to life but I don't think they're going to do that anytime soon would be pretty cool though uh, okay so once we've so we've got our three... Oh, we're going to have to take out the ladder as well. But I guess for now it's okay just to show what I plan to do. I plan to... Uh, yeah, just do do it this way. Have like a pattern going up just so it's a little bit more clean than just, you know, odd patches of gravel here and there. Uh, I mean, it's not, probably not the best thing I could do, but hey... It's better than nothing, right? Uh, so yeah, I'll work on this off camera. And I'll report back once it is all done. Okay, so that's what the inside of the tunnel looks like, or rather the tube that goes down to the uh, squid farm. Look at that, that is insane. An insane amount of ink sack. Now, I have had this much, probably more, in a recent one in my last world. But I never had it so quickly. It took me quite a while to get it. So to have this much so early, pretty good. And sorry, that was the stuff that I was keeping in my storage room. Uh, so I just went, I put it in my storage room and then came back and put it uh, in this chest here because I feel this is where it should be kept. So yeah, that's that. This is what I've done with the tunnel, by the way. Just cobble and stone slabs. And every alternative block here, facing the ladder, we've got a torch or some sort of lighting. That's actually pretty pointless. <laughs> so I won't put that there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that is the uh, squid farm. 
It's looking good. Oh, you might notice by my levels I died. I was shot by a skeleton with an enchanted bow. I was quite sad. I was on 42. And I just could not hold out against the skelly with an enchanted bow. He had... Uh, the skelly had full armour as well. So, Or not full armour, but uh, lots of chain armour. As you can see, I'm wearing armour now. I've learnt my lesson. Hey! What's he doing, I wonder? Skeletons are mucked up. Anyway, so... I didn't really have too much ideas for today, uh, as usual. But one thing I did think of doing was going back to the desert. Or, more accurately, to the acacia that we saw. Oops. And... Getting... The acacia saplings. Or, not the acacia, the... What do you call it? The Misa. Not the Misa. The Savanna. Going to the Savanna and getting Acacia saplings and then heading south to the jungle and getting jungle saplings. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on a bit of an adventure. But first I need to get rid of all the uh, junk in my inventory. Uh, my plan with the desert is to establish some sort of a colony there. Uh, uh, you know, some sort of a mining colony. I'm not quite sure how that's going to look at this point in time. But later on we will. Not right now though, but we're just going to go to the desert, we're going to have a scout about, see what we can see, get acacia saplings from the savannah, go to the jungle and get jungle saplings there. We might even make a trip to the Mesa, who knows. Uh, but let's head off now, I guess. Alright, so we're heading off on this great journey. And I see an enderman over there. Maybe not, it's just a villager. It looked like an enderman for some reason. Uh, but yes, this is our second time going out this way, uh, because of course we went out before, just to find the desert and get cacti, but now we're going out for our saplings, and I'm stuck on a tree, even though I should be able to dodge it with little bother. Uh, so yeah, just quickly, I wish to mention something interesting that happened on my gaming trip. So, I'm, by the way, still in the middle of breakfast, ironically, <laughs> while recording this, because I woke up early to go caving and or to continue with a caving trip that I had to cut short last night because I was tired and I found three ravines. Now remember I told you about that insane cave system that I'd seen on uh, you know over there. Well not over there but I, I talked about an insane cave system with like loads of double ravines, triple ravines you know all that sort of stuff. Well I found another three ravines right next to each other and I began saying to myself you know this world's cool and all but I'm not a big fan of ravines and there seems to be a lot of ravines in the area around where I, I I'm, I'm you know my base is situated and then it just dawned on me I was like hang on a minute I've only found one abandoned mine shaft in the entire world so far and then it dawned on me I've only found okay I found two double spawners but at the same time I've only found two double spawners and like one single spawner or something like that um, and I was like oh why can't I you know why can't there be more spawners or abandoned mine shafts and all that um, why can't there be more generated structures full stop hint hint Mojang no <laughs> um, but then like two seconds later I turned a corner and there was a zombie spawner like right in front of me and then like five minutes later I was in the same area of the cave and I found a skelly spawner so <laughs> that was pretty funny I managed to I got my wish came true uh, in effect so that's two more to the list I got some good loot out of it people say that there's not that good loot not that much good loot in it but in my opinion I think it's it's all right it's got uh, well sorry dungeons are all right for loot I mean they're not the best but they're not the worst I mean I think they're better in UHC for example you know, if you're lacking a bow, there's string in it. If you're lacking iron, there's sometimes iron in it, or even a bucket, or, you know, something like that. Um, but even in, like, survival Minecraft, in a single-player world like I am in at the minute, you know, you get things like record. Well, okay, you only get two records, but hey, there's still records. Uh, one of them's Cat, which is my favourite, so I'm always happy about that. And you can also get things like... Um, Saddles and horse armor, which is always useful. Stuff you cannot craft. So, long may that continue being found in uh, dungeons and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to journey on. Uh, if something exciting happens, I will show it. If not, 
this will be an incredibly short episode and I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> um, can we make that job? No, we can't. And here we've come across the acacia biome, or savanna biome. I keep calling it the acacia biome for some reason. Uh, anyway, we're just going to go and grab uh, as much of this, well not as much of the wood, but get as many saplings as we can. Uh, I just passed a horse, uh, not a horse, <laughs> I just passed many horses, a field full of horses. I really hope my horse doesn't go and get mixed up with them. I mean, I know my horse has got armour and that, but still. I don't think I'm clever enough to realise that when comparing a field full of horses. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to sit here, we're going to grab saplings, and then we're going to head south, I think, to the uh, jungle. And we're going to grab some jungle saplings, hopefully. That's the main aim today. The main aim is to get the uh, the saplings that we're missing. Lots of cows, that's cool. Lava pool there, that's uncool. Now let's grab this tree before it burns down. Although I think it's out of range, but still. Can never be too careful. Ah yeah, I saw the villagers in this village before I saw the village, so I made a beeline for it, and here we are. And funnily enough, oh, hello. Hello, 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 goodbye, goodbye. Funnily enough, the first building is... Oh, I thought this was a black... <laughs> for some reason I thought that was a blacksmith. I don't know why, but I... There is no blacksmith, it's just a small village. It's not as big as the village uh, by my base, but... Uh, well, it's pretty cool. We've got a village here, which... I will try and remember the coordinates. I should actually take the coordinates of it. Uh, village, put a D next to it, just so I know it's a desert. 2858 Don't really need the Y coordinate. 580. Alright, so we... The plan currently for me is to head to the... Ooh, look at this structure. It's got floating sand there, that's pretty cool. So yeah, the plan is to head to the southern end of this uh, desert. We are heading south. I'm not sure how far. It could be a thousand blocks, it could be two thousand blocks. And when we get there, we should, in theory, find a uh, river of a jungle. We'll head to that jungle and we'll grab uh, jungle saplings. And then we'll head... I'm not sure where we'll head after that. See, the thing is, the Mesa's in the north. I think we might have to go to the Mesa another day. Uh, because it's... I would have to then turn around and head back north for possibly 4,000 blocks. I'm not entirely sure. You know, I'd have to head back the 2,000 back to the zero coordinate, and then another 2,000 beyond that, so... Not sure if I want to be doing all that travelling today. Uh, it's quite a lot. I don't have that much time, but we're going to keep going. We're going to see if we can see anything cool. A pyramid would be nice, but uh, no sign of one yet. I spy with my little eye something beginning with V and ending in illage. Let's go pillage it. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, we found another village. I don't see a blacksmith, but then I don't see the whole village. So let's hope it all spawns in. There is a library. I don't think there was one of those in my, my village. There's two libraries. Greedy guts. They get two libraries instead of just one. I don't see a blacksmith, though. I'm yet to see, find a blacksmith. I found three villages in my world, and I've yet to find a blacksmith. That is really, really peculiar. Maybe there's one over here. It's just a weird houses. This is like the suburbs over here. That's not blacksmiths. I can confirm that there is no blacksmith. Uh, let's move on. It's not UHC, so we won't bother grabbing the bookcases, and we'll leave the library with their books. All right, I came to the eaves of our first jungle. This is the first jungle that I found in the world. And uh, oops, we're just going to go in and get some jungle saplings. And we might have a you know a brief look about, it, but I don't intend to. <coughs> excuse me, staying here. Now, if we have a look at this biome, it's the jungle edge. So that's this is the jungle edge. It's not quite the the jungle, but once you go further on a bit. Yep, we're now well inside the jungle. <laughs> Look at this tree over here. It's half in the jungle, half in the uh, savannah. It looks pretty funny, doesn't it? Um, this looks like a swamp tree almost. Well, it's, it doesn't look like a swamp tree, but you know it's got the vines and that on it. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, I think, chop down a few of these trees and we'll get the saplings off them. <laughs> this is equally funny, look at this. It's like a savanna tree in the, uh, in the jungle, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I managed to get 12 jungle saplings. Uh, I've just slept away the night. And as you can see, I was attacked. Oh no! Don't destroy this magical tree. Magical tree of... Um, <laughs> of acacia slash jungleness. Savannah slash jungleness. Yeah, it was quite weird because I put the bed down and then started clicking and it said you can't sleep because there's no monsters. I was like, what? I can't hear any monsters. Turned around, there was a creeper right in my face. Although thankfully my armour definitely... Definitely helped me there. Uh, See, so yeah, I've decided that we're not going to go any further into the jungle. We're just going to admire it from here. I guess I better take the quads so I can get to it next time without having to go the long way around. I did mention that one of my aims with this series was hopefully to, you know, build something in each, every, uh, in all the different biomes. And so we need to remember that jungle there. Hopefully we can set up a colony of some sort there. Um, I do have a few ideas of stuff I want to do there. Uh, so, we might get around to that at some point in the future, near or distant. Uh, but right now I think we should head for home. We've uh, done well in getting the, the remaining saplings that we needed, and hopefully we can those will benefit us. Oh, more jungle. <laughs> the jungle's following us uh, all the way home. Just tell me, what are the chances of this? As you know, sheep spawn with different colours. We've got whites, we've got grey, we've got light grey, we've got black, and brown, I think, is also the other one. Pink is the rarest as well. What's the chance of this? One pink sheep, two pink sheep. Maybe there, I've got a troll in my Minecraft world. Maybe I'm not alone. Maybe there's someone else here that is out to confuse me by dying sheep pink. To be honest, it would be even more confusing if the sheep were like red or something like that um, but yeah two pink sheep in one area and the fact was there was only two of each sheep there was look two grey sheep two grey sheep two white sheep two pink sheep two light grey sheep that place is mucked up but uh, hey it's pretty cool <laughs> sheep fell or something like that I should have taken the coordinates of that too Maybe I'll put the coordinates up real quick. It's just so I remember them. Uh, so yeah, that just happened. Uh, shoot. So yeah, basically what happened was I drove my horse into a lava pool and died. Lava pools suck epically. Fortunately, it wasn't my only horse. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I could have done better. <laughs> I could have placed the water bucket sooner. Ah, uh, so annoying. I don't even know where I died. Um, but it was it was somewhere over there. I think I'm just gonna. I'm trying to think what I had. I even had on me. I don't think I had anything. I don't my tools, but I can replace them. It was a well, you know, obviously I had the saplings and stuff. But I can't exactly get the saplings back unless I go back and get them. Uh so annoying. I hate it when that happens. But that's the nature of things. So I heard someone describe yesterday that um on Twitch that uh they should all you know, dying keeps the game interesting, and that's fair enough, but it doesn't take away from the first the frustration of it when it happens. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Uh that's annoying. Well, <laughs> that whole um, adventure was catastrophic. I went, try, I took another horse, I found a good jumping horse because I, I prefer jumpers over speed. Um, I rode the horse about a thousand blocks to get to the jungle however then the horse drowned because I jumped into a waterfall and again the downward flow prevented the horse from swimming and it died. I then came to the jungle, found I got jungle saplings as you can see. Uh, 
but then I forgot about the cocoa beans, and it was only later I was like, oh yeah, jungles equal cocoa beans. I should go back and get some. So I had to go back and get some, uh, some of those cocoa beans. However, then I found two other horses, and I still had the saddle from the horse that had died, and I was like, oh, you know, I should uh, tame these. But they were the slowest things ever, and I, I know I said I prefer jumping over speed, but these guys were so slow, it wasn't even worth it, so I just left them. Uh, they were grey though, so I'm not sure if that is an indication as to how fast they are. And then we went to the Acacia uh, place, or I went to the Acacia place and uh, got Acacia saplings, as you can see. And then I almost died because I was out in the middle of nowhere trying to get home. And I would have died if I hadn't had armour on. And as Baby Zombie with an enchanted sword came after me and... I decided to be clever with him, and I ran away, dropped a water bucket, like you would to slow someone down. Slowed the guy down and shot him twice, but missed my last shot, and I had no more arrows, so I had to go and melee him. However, the melee didn't work out so well, and I got crowded by a bunch of mobs. I was down to half a heart with a skeleton chasing me, and I almost died. So that whole adventure was a pretty catastrophic. Lost another horse. See, this is why I don't have horses, because... I always die on them. I always lose them. Um, so yeah, far side over there's a lot. So we might go back and uh, take some back to our base. But for now, I think I'm just going to end the episode here. This was a very <laughs> frustrating day, but hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with uh, some building and we can get a project done. But for now, thank you for watching. Sorry about the crumminess of this episode again. <sighs> Let's just hope I can get home safely. Will I get home safely? Find out tomorrow.